Welcome back to the channel and the second episode in the Pup Pastry series where today we'll be putting a twist on a black forest ghetto by making an alternative with a black forest milfoy. For this dish we'll be using the classic puff pastry, you can find the recipe for the pastry in episode 1 of this series. The first stage is to roll out 450 grams of the puff pastry, 3mm thick and cut out into 12 circles. You'll see I've cut 13 to make a baker's dozen. Classically, milk poi should be a rectangular shape, but I've kept it circular to keep it more in line with the ghetto. If you are new around here and want to improve your cooking and baking skills, then start by subscribing to never miss a future episode. Place onto a baking tray and place a heavy non-stick baking tray over the top of the disc and bake in a preheated oven at 165 Celsius for 25 minutes before removing and transferring to a cooling rack. You should be able to see the laminations in the puff pastry when you look at the side of each disc after baking. The next stage is to prepare the fillings. In place of the chocolate sponge, I have made a chocolate creme patissiere. Heat the milk on the stove and while heating, mix the yolks and sugar before adding the flour and cocoa powder. When the milk is hot, add the milk to the mixture half of the time and then press well before transferring to a clean, non-stick pan. Cook out on the stove, stirring constantly until the mixture rolls and then transfer to a suitable container to chill. Place a sheet of greasy paper over the top during cooling to prevent a skin from forming and when cool, refrigerate overnight. Cherries I've made a cherry jam, a rough guide is equal quantities of cherry to jam sugar boiled until it reaches a minimum of 105 Celsius for a few minutes before putting into a jar to cool. You could use store-bought jam, I simply made the jam for myself as I was given the cherries from a friend's garden. In place of Kirsch, I've used a cherry brandy, mix 250 grams of the chilled chocolate creme patissiere with 30 milliliters of cherry brandy and place into a piping bag ready to use.
the cream, take 250 milliliters of double cream, 25 milliliters of cherry brandy, and 45 grams of icing sugar, and whisk into a stiff peak before transferring to a piping bag with a star-shaped nozzle. Take a few dessert spoons of cherry jam and put it into a piping bag ready for use. For the assembly, lay out the puff pastry discs and pipe the peaks of the creme patissiere onto the base, followed by a thin layer of the jam and then gently pipe the cream into peaks on the top, trying to keep as neat as possible. You will see I did have slight difficulties as I shot this process on an extremely hot and humid day. The final stage is to arrange the discs into stacks of three before garnishing with a little grated chocolate and a whole fresh cherry. Thanks for watching, if you do decide to have a go at making your own meal foy, consider sharing your efforts on social media tagging one of my social media pages, and be sure to share, like and subscribe to the channel to see more exciting dishes coming up in the Puff Pastry series.